yesterday the decision was taken by the speaker where he said that uh, ekna shinde led shiv sena is the real shiv sena so ekna shinde is the chief minister but all administrative decisions majority of them or even the control of the coalition is is with the uh, bjp you know the central leadership as well as the state leadership in shiv sena it was as in as in all regional parties but more so in shiv sena the the high command was the final one and yesterday's verdicts were the uh, you know the pride of uh, shiv sena because in shiv sena the final authority was always the high command and in the, in this case it was always thakrees In a significant setback to the Shiv Sena faction led by Uddhav Thackeray, the political landscape in Maharashtra witnessed a defining moment. Maharashtra Assembly Speaker Rahul Narvekar delivered a decisive verdict on January 10th, declaring that the opposing faction led by Chief Minister Eknath Shinde was deemed the real political party. We reached out to our senior editor Shubhangi Kapre to gain insights into the implications and details surrounding this verdict by the Speaker. what is the verdict was all about ma'am yesterday's uh, maharashtra speaker's verdict yeah, yeah uh, the, the the speaker rahul narvekar uh, he had two issues before him uh, he had to take a decision on cross petitions filed by both factions sena now uh, both the sides that is uddhav thakre led shiv sena and uh, eknath shinde who is the chief minister of maharashtra his faction of shiv sena uh, the 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 questions or the arguments that they posed against each other was that theirs is a real party theirs is the original party and they sought the disqualification of each other's members and uh, the whole issue was actually referred to but the supreme court of india uh, in may 2022 referred the issue back to the speaker saying that um it's a matter which is uh, requires the leg- uh, legislative intervention and in accordance to the timeline yesterday the decision was taken by the speaker where he said that uh, ekna shinde led shiv sena is the real shiv sena and while doing so at the same time he also uh, kind of cited certain uh, procedural lapses and uh, and maintained that uh, because of the procedural lapses the disqualification of uh, M- 14 MLAs uh, under Sh- uh, Uddhav Thackeray's party have been stayed. So, which means uh, while 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 saying that uh, Ekna Shinde led uh, MLAs, that is 40 uh, 40 MLAs of Ekna Shinde who defected from Uddhav Thackeray's party, uh, are the real Shiv Sena. While justifying why he held Ekna Shinde's party as real Shiv Sena, the explanation given was, or the uh, or the basis he substantiated was with. Uh, uh, he referred to the Shiv Sena Constitution of 1999, and he also said that the uh, Shiv Sena Constitution of 2018 uh, underwent some amendments which were not incorporated in the Constitution draft. So it was like a some self some way you can say that it was a victory for Ekna Shinde as far as the party party status is concerned. at the same time we can say that for uddhav thackeray personally it was a and as far as his his leadership is concerned because his leadership was compromised his image was dented but his mlas uh, mlas kind of uh, uh, the mlas disqualification was avoided don't you think this is a downfall for the party as a whole shiv sena party as a whole yes shiv sena yes, uh, because uh, shiv sena as a party uh, that that decision was already taken in june 2022 sorry because when the party split that was the biggest body blow for the uh, party as well as the rank and file within the organization because the shiv sena which was founded on uh, on in june 19 1966 it never faced this kind of different instances of leaders who who left the party who left the organization there was some kind of a, a bickering within the organization i mean including raj thakre who was a nephew of bal thakre he also kind of uh, split along with the young generation and they floated a separate organization called uh, mns manse now maharashtra nav nirman sena then there was another instance when narayan rani left the party with some of his followers the split was for the first time a vertical split in shiv sena which was the biggest regional party of maharashtra and uh, not only biggest regional party but it was a it was a force to reckon with initially the foundation of shiv sena was uh, on you know the sons of soil bhumiputra marathi pride and all that 
and uh, also it was perceived in some way as a very militant very aggressive political party which could never be challenged because it had a very strong leadership in bal thakre earlier after his demise in 2012 uh, the entire party's control came to uddhav thakre who was uh, uh, who started as the executive uh, president and later took the charge as a president but the leadership was never questioned because in shiv sena it was as in as in all regional parties but more so in shiv sena the the high command was the final one and esteris verdicts with the uh, you know the pride of uh, shiv sena because in shiv sena the final authority was always a high command and in the, in this case it was always thakrees so thakrees were the final word whether it's policy policy decision or you know whether it's issuing tickets to any candidates or alliances with any political parties everybody respected and uh, i mean it was like a authoritarian kind of a rule but for the first time the speaker questioned that leadership saying that you know uh, udhav thakre just like any other member and uh, what the decision of the executive uh, is is a kind of a, uh, is will, will be held uh, above the leadership uh, so so now what will happen to the leadership of udhav thakre and what will happen to his followers now what is their condition now the leadership of udhav thakre stays because he is still the leader of one faction and uh, and uh, but the only problem now is for him to rebuild the organization because now his uh, see the sizable legislature almost two third of the legislatures out like uh, 40 out of 56 have defected to eknath shinde in terms of uh, members of parliament also out of 19 13 have gone with eknath shinde so in that sense his uh, strength is diminished but the but what remains with him is like uh, the you, the the grassroots support uh, within um, say mumbai thane and uh, konkan region especially and in some parts of marathwada uh, that we will have to see in the coming elections to what extent he is been able to hold the electoral base at the grassroots because uh, in the in the last gram panchayat elections uh, the shiv sena stood uh, in in terms of ranking at the last but those elections were not held on party symbol so it can still be disputed see ml is shifting to party which is in power or the mps sitting members shifting to parties which are in power is is understandable but if his followers at the grassroots especially the uh, the people uh, the the cynics the die hard cynics if we can with, withhold them we can uh, retain their support some way that will reflect in the lok sabha elections and uh, that will be the first major test for uddhav thakre so last question ma'am so we know that there's going to be a, uh, assembly elections uh, i think in october or november 2024 so uh, do you think eknath shinde faction will uh, withstand for a long time uh, what do you think about the bjp eknath shinde coalition what do you what do you think will happen in the next election ma'am the bjp is going to retain the alliance because um, uh, there are two factors in this because uh, bjp formed this alliance by because they wanted to teach uddhav thakre a lesson because it was a kind of taking a revenge for 2029 betrayal i mean as they as they claim bjp has emerged as a number one party with 105 uh, five mlas out of 288 so in that sense yes rightfully it was their claim but shiv sena took a decision to join hands with congress and ncp and form the government because right now also though eknath shinde is the chief minister but all administrative decisions majority of them or even the control of the coalition is is with the uh, bjp you know the central leadership as well as the state leadership so but they've been told to uh, take a back seat right now because they want to keep uh, eknath shinde's faction together because the first task was to undermine and uh, undermine the shiv sena because without that bjp uh, bjp's electoral progress in maharashtra would have been difficult at the same time they also wanted to uh, kind of create a split within the mahavika sagadi which had emerged as a formidable challenge to the bjp because congress ncp and shiv sena i mean undivided shiv sena was quite a force to reckon with the, that's that's the reason they went for this operation lotus and first they did, first they split the shiv sena and later a year later they split the ncp by dividing this two regional parties which were the main uh, stay of maharashtra politics one led by sharad pawar the other led by uddhav thakre 
the bjp has to certain extent achieved is its political agenda it was a long term in as well as ncp uh, they have accomplished that now though the the point is whether this kind of decision the strategy uh, translates into electoral politics whether they really uh, are able to shift the vote share of sharad pawar to right wing party or right wing coalition to what extent they will kind of dent or diminish the shiv sena's base that is uddhav thakre's uh, support uh, to what extent they will ensure that the sympathy wave is not uh, does not go in support of uddhav thakre these are some of the challenges they are facing right now and that that's the reason why they did not uh, hold a bmc elections now the the corporation election was due two years ago and yet bjp being in power has not been able to hold the election and uh, bmc elections very crucial also because unlike other corporations Mumbai Corporation has a big budget, annual budget of say fifty thousand crore, and uh, and Mumbai being the financial center and economic capital of India, this elections had the BJP lost or had wish had Uddhav Thakre's party done well, it would have reflected uh, badly on BJP. I think that's one of the reasons why they did not uh, hold the elections, corporate elections, for last two years. And uh, some these are the issues BJP is grappling with. but at the same time i think uh, they want to ride on the success of modi modi twa factor and lok sabha is 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 what they are looking forward to now a, lo a lot of things will depend on how which party fares what way and who wins what and what is the base uh, what is the vote vote bank of each party in the coming lok sabha elections based on that the uh, permutations and combinations will evolve in the assembly elections as well but i think uh, bjp will have an upper hand in assembly elections the bjp strategy will be that they will strive to kind of uh, emerge, emerge as a single largest party they may not uh, they will not shun the alliance alliance partners that is shinde or uh, ajit pawar but definitely they will want to kind of achieve a, a majority on their own but as far as shinde's position is concerned i think he will Will be retained as Chief Minister of Maharashtra after the uh, Lok Sabha as well as Assembly elections because he is also Maratha face and um, that the BJP will not like to compromise at this moment. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much.